How to get membership or accreditation of professional institutions for civil engineers. The process of becoming a member or obtaining accreditation from a professional institution for civil engineers may vary depending on the specific organization and country in which you are seeking membership. However, here are some general steps that may apply. Identify the professional institution S that align with your interests and career goals. Consider factors such as the institution's mission, values, and benefits offered to members. Review the eligibility requirements for membership or accreditation. These may include academic qualifications, professional experience, and references. Prepare your application, which typically includes a CV slash resume, academic transcripts, and professional references. Some institutions may also require an application fee. Submit your application and wait for a response from the institution. Depending on the organization, the process may take several weeks or months. If your application is successful, you may be invited to an interview or assessment to further evaluate your qualifications. Upon acceptance you will typically be required to pay membership or accreditation fees and agree to abide by the organization's code of ethics and professional conduct. Maintain your membership or accreditation by fulfilling the institution's continuing professional development requirements and renewing your membership or accreditation on a regular basis. It's important to note that the specific requirements and process for membership or accreditation may vary depending on the organization and country, so it's recommended to check the institution's website or contact them directly for more information. What are the membership grades for civil engineers? The membership grades for civil engineers may vary depending on the professional institution, but here are some common ones. Student members. This grade is for undergraduate or graduate students who are studying civil engineering or a related field. Student members typically have access to certain benefits and resources provided by the professional institution. Graduate members. This grade is for those who have recently graduated from a civil engineering program and are starting their professional careers. Graduate members typically have access to additional benefits and resources compared to student members. Associate member. This grade is for individuals who may not have completed a civil engineering program or have relevant work experience. Associate members may work under the supervision of a more experienced civil engineer. Technician. This grade is for individuals who have achieved a level 2 diploma in engineering technology or a level 3 diploma in engineering design and drafting. Technician members may be involved in the planning, design, drawing preparation, construction, and maintenance of civil engineering projects. Member. This grade is for fully qualified and experienced civil engineers who have demonstrated a high level of professional competence. Members typically hold positions of responsibility and are involved in the planning, design, drawing preparation, construction, and management of civil engineering projects. Fellow. This grade is the highest level of membership and is for those professionals who have made significant contributions to the civil engineering profession. Fellows are recognized as leaders in the field and may have achieved notable accomplishments such as pioneering new technologies or making significant contributions to the development of civil engineering standards and codes. What are the professional titles for civil engineers? The professional titles for civil engineers may vary depending on the country and professional institution, but here are some common ones. Engineering Technician This title is for individuals who have achieved a Level 2 Diploma in Engineering Technology or a Level 3 Diploma in Engineering Design and Drafting. Chartered Engineer This title is for fully qualified and experienced civil engineers who have demonstrated a high level of professional competence and have achieved chartered status through a professional institution. Chartered engineers typically hold positions of responsibility and are involved in the planning, design, construction, and management of civil engineering projects. Incorporated Engineer This title is for individuals who have completed a civil engineering degree and have relevant work experience but may not yet have attained a master's degree with specialization in one domain. Incorporated engineers may have a certain level of technical competence in civil engineering and may be involved in the planning, design, drawing preparation, construction, and maintenance of civil engineering projects. I hope this video gives you a sound understanding of and importance of professional institutions membership for civil engineers. Please like, share, and comments.